Hey, what's up, guys? In the other one, uh, we left off here that we're gonna start to uh, work on the uh, character. So we're gonna go in the character here, and you should have something like this here. I'm just gonna put that back in line so it's look nice and sharp. There we go. So the first thing I'm gonna start here, uh, I'm just gonna do uh, this. I'm gonna start with the sprint logic uh, for our character. So I'm gonna go uh, uh, quick to it. Uh, because the uh, I have a full video that explains exactly how it works, but you can still follow with this one, obviously. So we're gonna go here in edit. We're gonna go to project setting, and we're gonna go down here to input. So we're gonna add uh, an action mapping to our sprint function. So for me, I'm gonna call that sprint, and I'm gonna make sure that I click on the plus here, and I'm gonna click on the keyboard here, and I want that to be shift to sprint. So when it's done, you can close that. We're not going to need it for now. So from here, we're just going to search for sprint that we created. And from that, we're going to OB on our keyboard and look for a branch. And we, in that branch here, we're going to create a few variables here that uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, useful. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I'm going to create the first boolean here. I'm going to call that crouch. Well, I'm calling that crouch well. Is because later on we're gonna have a crouch uh, function, and I don't want uh, basically to be able to sprint if I'm crouch. So with that, I'm just gonna plug this right there. So from this, I'm gonna drag from true, and I'm gonna create another branch. Sorry, I'm gonna drag from fall and create another branch. There you go. From this here, we're gonna search for condition. So we're gonna need our stamina and all that. So we're gonna create the variable that uh, we need. So we're gonna create a uh, stamina, and it's gonna be a boolean. Uh, sorry, a float. And we're gonna just compile and save that. So we have our float here, and the stamina. I'm gonna start that at 50. So I'm gonna put 50 here. Compile and save that. So we'll all go with that. So I'm gonna drag the stamina right here. And from that, I want that greater. So I'm gonna search for greater or equal. I'm gonna connect that right here. So the number I'm gonna put here, it's one. So basically, if our stamina is greater than one, we'll be able to sprint. If it's not, we're not gonna be able to sprint. Uh, from that now, we're gonna create another a variable. I'm gonna go that is sprinting, question mark. And I'm gonna make sure that it's a boolean and I'm gonna connect that right to true and I'm gonna check it off like this from that here we get I want the I want our max walk speed so how to get a max walk speed well I'm gonna take the character movement here drag that down here and now I can drive from it and search for max walk speed we're gonna set our max walk speed and right here so this is going to be the speed that we want our character to move when it's print. Uh, for me, uh, I'm going to think I'm going to put that at a 500. So I'm just going to create a variable because I don't want to, you know, we're going to use that a lot in the blueprint and I don't want to remember the number all the time uh, and do some mistake. So I'm just going to promote that to a variable, max walk speed, I'm going to compile and here I'm gonna put 500 awesome so we have that 500 after that, we're gonna move a little bit on the side here we're gonna create another variable and we're gonna call this one shul drain question mark it's gonna be a boolean we're gonna connect that right here as set and we're gonna make sure that it's check off so we're gonna go back here and from our release so when we release our key we want some stuff to happen, right? So I'm gonna all to do a branch. Well, B, I mean on the keyboard to do a branch. And I'm gonna put crouch once again. So I'm gonna take my variable crouch. So I'll put that right here. From false here, I'm gonna search for the uh, max walk speed. So once again, uh, you can take this one or just drag this one down. And I'm gonna search for max walk speed. I'm gonna take a set. I'm going to connect this to false here and from that we want the max walk speed so this one here so we're going to drag and drop right here like this 
There we go. I'm going to put that right in line. And we're going to take our uh, is sprinting. And we're going to uncheck that. So connect your Boolean in sprinting and make sure that it's unchecked. And we're going to take our shield drain and plug it right here and make sure it's unchecked as well. So what is doing for us? Well, basically, when we press shift, it's going to verify that we're crouched. If we are crouched, uh, it's going to be true, so it means that nothing's going to happen. If it's false, well, it means that we're not crouched. So if we're not crouched, it means that we can go to this one. So now this one is going to verify that we have enough stamina. If we have more than one, we'll be able to run. So it's going to be true. So it's going to enable is sprinting for us. So we're going to be able to use that uh, later on in the blueprint. It's going to set our walk speed to 500 by this variable here and it's going to check shield drain so make sure our stamina is going down until it's reached zero when we release the key well we want to make sure that uh, we're not crouch once again if we're not crouch well it's going to reset our max speed to normal right so we want that to be reset to uh, normal so we're going to put our max speed. So here we want the max speed. So I just verify actually that I did a little mistake. So this variable here, and we're going to create another one. And it's going to be sprint uh, walk speed. And I'm going to change the type for a float here. And I'm just going to change this one here. So the sprint, when you compile, so the sprint will be 500. And I want the uh, max walk speed, I want that to be 250. So I'm going to go there and put 250. There we go. And it's going to deselect our sprint. So we're no longer sprinting. And the stamina will no longer uh, drain. So it's exactly what this function is doing here. So now from that, uh, we're going to do the other one. So just First, we're going to select that, put a comment. So by clicking, selecting everything and clicking C, you can do a comment. And this one will be the sprint logic for us. So now we're going to go down here. So we're going to create a custom variable. So let's type custom event. So this one here, I'm going to call this one drain. Drain um, stamina. And we'll just move that, that, zoom here. And... Now we're just going to do a little logic to drain. So we're going to all be in the keyboard to the branch. We're going to connect all of that together. We're going to take our shield drain, connect that here. So it's going to verify that you're draining. So here, basically, right? So it's going to verify that we're draining. So for draining, we're going to take our um, stamina. So we have our stamina right here. So we're just going to drag that right here on true to set it. And from that, we're going to drag and do a clamp. We're going to take uh, this one here. From that here, from value, we're going to look for a subtraction. And from that, we're going to take our stamina. So here, plug that in the top one. And one. We're going to put one here. We're going to take our max stamina. So we have to create a variable for max stamina. So going variable here we're going to create one and we're going to put max stamina there you go i'm going to drag that right here to max so we're going to compile so we can edit our max stamina so i want the max stamina to be obviously 100 so i'm going to put 100 like so and from the stamina here i'm going to search for equal so just search equal put that here now from this, we're going to go and search for branch. We're going to connect uh, the branch together like this. And I'm going to make sure that we plug those two together. And here we're going to leave uh, the value as zero. From here, we're going to take our show drain. So if you go down, show drain is here. I'm going to connect that to true like this. And I'm going to make sure it's not check. We're going to take our movement character once again. And I'm going to drag and search for max walk speed it's right here look at this one we're gonna do set 
max warp speed so max warp speed and I'm gonna take the sip I'm gonna connect that to the show drain and you see here I want to put 500 right uh, so because our max walk speed is 500 so I'm gonna go here and max walk speed that is already uh, I mean our max walk speed is um, it's 250 so I'm gonna connect that right here here we go like this and from the false here we are gonna search for delay I'm gonna put 0.1 it means something very very quick and we're going to call back the function drains tamia. There we go. So we're going to take all of that to C, and I'm just going to call that drain tamia logic. So you know, I'm going to just explain how it's work. So basically, uh, here when we sprint, we want that our stamina drain, right? So to make that drain, well, at the end of uh, this uh, function, not this function, but uh, this action of sprinting, we have to call this here. So from here, we're just going to search for drain. And we're going to call that function drain. And here at the bottom, we're going to call the function drain once again, right here. So when we sprint, uh, it's going to enable show drain and call the function drain. So we did the function drain, so it's here. So what it does, it's going to verify that drain is check on so it's true so if it's true because we put it right here so we're gonna go to the next step so the next step it's stamina so every time we are running every second well it's gonna remove one from our max stamina which is hundred it's gonna verify that if it's equal to zero if it's true well it's mean that we're no longer uh, be able to drain so we won't be able to uh, run anymore and our max walk speed would be back to normal if we still have enough stamina it's mean that it's going to be false so we're going to have a delay and recall the same function so we do a loop basically until we have zero or that we stop pressing on shift to run so we're going to compile and save that uh, now from this uh, we're just going to go down here and we're going to do our regen logic right um, so same thing we're gonna search for a custom event uh, right here I'm gonna call this uh, regain uh, stamina if I know what to spell stamina like this there we go from that we're gonna all be on my keyboard I'm gonna plug those two together I'm gonna take a show drain here connect it like this and I'm gonna search for another branch I'm gonna do this and connect the fall from the first branch to the second branch from the condition here I'm gonna search for equal so search first for equal and from the first stop here we're gonna need our stamina and on the bottom we're gonna need our max stamina there we go so from that so from the falls here um, we're gonna drag and search for our stamina so you can drive from that and search for the stamina or just take the stamina from here put it here and we're gonna set that uh, so to set our stamina we're just gonna move that all of the way uh, from stamina we're gonna drag and search for clamp we're gonna take the float here and from that value here we're gonna drag and search for plus and on the first top of the plus here I'm gonna put my uh, stamina so I'm gonna take this stamina here and from the bottom so our max we're gonna add another pin and we're gonna take our um, well actually I did a little mistake here so we don't need that pin so we're just gonna well, well actually we can just leave it as is no big deal we're gonna take our max stamina here and just plug that here there you go like this perfect so and in the first one we are gonna put the number of uh, two here on the plus there we go two after stamina here we're gonna search for delay I'm gonna put a delay of 0.3 seconds we can put two one it's not really a big deal but I want that to be to wait every 0.3 seconds from completed here we're gonna call back or regain a stamina like this so I'm gonna take all that do a box around it with C 
I'm going to put a comment. I'm going to call uh, this or uh, regain estimate logic. So re regain, 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 regain estimate logic. So what is doing for us here? Well, it's going to verify that we're draining. If we're no longer draining, it means that we can go there. It's going to verify that our stamina and max stamina, it's not equal. So if we have less stamina, it's mean that we need to get some, right? So if that condition, those two are not equal, it's mean that it's going to be false. So we're going to go to set our stamina. And we're going to set our stamina by adding a certain amount of mon uh, money, a certain amount of energy to it. So you can add the number you want. So if you want to remember a little bit what everything does, you can click on any um, code here. And you can basically add a little comment here. Uh, and I'm just going to add, um, add desire stamina on regen. There we go. So, you know, instead of writing everything that here, you can just tell you what everything does if you want to remember. So when that is set up, it's going to add two every every 0.3 seconds to us and recall that until those two are at the same number right that's pretty uh that's pretty uh, simple here so from here you see i i always review my code i did a little mistake here so on the sprint logic we don't want to drain the stamina we want to regain the stamina so i'm just gonna drag and call uh the regain stamina here we go so we're going to compile and uh, save all of that so all our code for sprinting it's there and ready to go ready to go now that uh, all that is done uh, make sure that you organize that uh, so i just cut the video and I reorganize uh, this so you don't you guys have to watch me reorganize all my variables so you can just pause the video and reorganize all of that uh, in the next uh, video, we're just going to see how to um, create our UI to have the sprint uh, display on the screen for us. That's going to drag when we press shift and we're going to regain uh, stamina when we release uh, our shift key on the keyboard. So I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.